The conquest of Canaan is something that many of us have known from our childhood. We all know the story of how the Israelites marched around the walls of Jericho and the walls fell flat. And it's often claimed that the walls of Jericho have been found and that there is a clear evidence for the conquest of Canaan under Joshua. But in fact, it's not a simple issue. As with the Exodus, there are two main dates for this conquest. Um, there's a date around about 1406, which is 40 years after that of the Exodus. This is archaeologically the late Bronze 1B period. And uh, we have evidence of eight clearly identifiable sites um, being settled at that time. These are the sites of Jerusalem, Gezer, Afek, Hatzor, Shimron, Tanakh, Megiddo and Jokneh. But only two of these sites, that's Hatzor and Megiddo, have clear evidence for destruction at that time, uh, about 1406 BC. Many people think that the conquest of Canaan is a simple matter. This is not really the case. They think it's just a question of dating a few uh, stones that have been found at Jericho. But we have to take a much broader view if we're going to understand archaeologically what may have happened. If we um, take a view that the Exodus happened um, at around 1270, we would have a conquest of Canaan 40 years later, around about 1230. And this particular placement seems to fit reasonably well with the archaeological evidence. We have a stele that's an inscribed stone from the reign of the Egyptian pharaoh Meremptah. It's dated to his fifth year, which would place it in the year 1209 BC. And its chief claim to fame is that it mentions Israel. It's the first known attestation of Israel in the archaeological record. And it places Israel in the land of Canaan. So it would seem very likely that Israel had conquered Canaan before that time. This is the latest possible date for the conquest of Canaan, which would be 1209 BC, or probably a few years before. If we take 40 years for the wanderings in the desert, we would have therefore the latest possible date for the Exodus, which would be 40 years or so before that date. Archaeologically, this is late bronze 2b. 14 of the sites in the list in the book of Joshua have been identified. These are the sites that we now know as Jerusalem, Jarmuth, Lachish, Eglon, Gezer, Debir, Libna, Bethel, Afek, Hazor, Shimron, Akshaf, Megiddo and Jokneam. But only six of these sites have clear evidence of being destroyed at that time. These are the sites of Lachish, Gezer, Bethel, Afek, Hatzor, and Jokneam. Archaeologically, this is late bronze 3b. Of course, we make an assumption that when an invader comes into a new land, there's automatically going to be a different type of culture coming into the land as well. It may not necessarily be the case. Also, when we're looking at the evidence for the Israelite conquest of the land. We're dealing with a number of sites that have only at best been partially excavated and some haven't been securely identified either. It's therefore understandable why people's conclusions are so varied and maybe why a clear consensus may never ultimately emerge.